Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another Foot Birthday Friday is upon us with the highly anticipated team number two for Foot Birthday and of the Foot Birthday icons coming into packs and into this game today. What I want to do in the video is look at what we could be expecting today content-wise with potentially one of the biggest SBCs of the year dropping today for a super meta card that if EA do the boost right, it could be an SBC that we may want to craft over the long Long term and it'd be an end game card for each and every one of us so we're going to take a look at that and how the market could react today as well as kind of the weird new pack code that's been added with player picks as packs i want to talk about that and of course all the craziness that happened yesterday with the delayed content drop hopefully ea do not mess up content today because yesterday was a disaster so if you're excited for foot birthday two today hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new let's quickly talk about that disastrous day of content yesterday because we had like three different content drop times yesterday at 6 p.m uk ea released literally nothing and then at 7 and 8 p.m uk they like just kind of released one thing at a time it was all a mess but we ended up getting the content alexandro five star skills foot birthday sbc his only special card this year now 200,000 coins for this card it's not that hard to do I wish they would have upgraded him just a little bit more. He doesn't look insane, but he's at a price point and he has some very interesting links that a lot of people, I think, desire in this game. And that's why at 200k, you see a lot of upvotes on this SBC. Definitely not the most meta left back, but it's making some prices move. Look at Teo Hernandez's World Cup Team of the Tournament card, 550,000 coins. He dropped a ton in price yesterday. I mean, mostly because of this Alexandro SBC with the Juve links to Pogba um, and the Brazilian links with a lot of other Brazilian cards coming out here in the future here pretty soon with Team 2 of a birthday. I think this card actually has a lot of hype, although for me, it doesn't quite fit my team and it's not as meta enough for my team. But I know for a lot of others with the five-star skills, that's a really fun card and SBC to have. So not terrible content, just not amazing. There are 14 days to do it, easy to craft. Uh, we also had two player of the months. We're going to have another player of the month today, I believe. But we had Kavara Donut, one squad, great price if that's a Serie A card you need. And Antoine Griezmann with the work rate changes and a four-star, four-star boost. I actually think this SBC is a W. I know that his stats um, are a little bit better than the Path to Glory card, and it does not have 5-5 five five like the PTG, but it has better work rates, and it's a craftable SBC. So if you need a La Liga Griezmann, that's a great card for you. And if you missed it yesterday, Marquee Matchups has not won but two tokens. They didn't put a token in Silver Stars like we thought they were going to, the first two SBCs here, PSG versus Lyon and Napoli Milan, have the tokens. So if you missed those yesterday, those are the 18th and 19th tokens to be released into the game. I think we're going to have a couple more tokens today as some people may be wanting to craft and uh, or open up those swaps 80 four times 40, right? The 84, 84 times 20 times two will finally be available today. I think is we're going to get two at least swap tokens in this game. So kind of a crazy day of content yesterday. Of course, we did have those marquee matchups with, which did drop some prices on the foot birthdays. And we'll talk about the foot birthday team one cards here in a bit because some of them are really, really low heading into today on Friday. But without further ado, let's look forward to what is coming today and what is dropping on this game today. We've looked through some of the leagues already. We've seen some of these cards, but I want to fly through it with you guys because there are a lot of new leagues. We were really excited when we saw the first releases of these leagues yesterday, right? Bruno Guimaraes, uh, Anthony, right? That's a pretty big name card. Same thing with Vinny Jr. as a part of this promo. These guys are all expected to be in packs today. Some of them could be mini release, but we'll figure that out as we get towards the content drop. But as the leaks continue to come in, Timo Werner yesterday, right? From the loading screen, not bad. This one is the one that really, really set things going crazy. And this is, I think, our SBC for today. Now, it might not be today, but I mean, this would be a huge SBC whenever this drops, whether it is today or whether it's not today, this is going to be such a massive SBC. It's going to change the game and change so many people's teams. Like I would put this on par, maybe not quite on par, but like almost with a player of the month Mbappe type of uh, like meta value and craftability. I mean, it's, it's going to be an SBC that so many people want to craft. I see some similarities between what EA is doing with this and with the Conte SBC, I think in Kunku, like in Conte, it's going to be released out for a very long time, right? Conte's out for like 60 days. I think in Kunku would be the same thing whenever he is dropped. I kind of expect him today, but also it seems like almost too expensive an SBC. 
for EA to drop on a promo Friday, but you would expect Nkunku to be 5-star, five 5-star. Five Since his base gold is 5-star skills, of course, this card has been one of the most meta cards in this game. Crazy price all year long. It's, it was 3 million coins before this SBC was leaked yesterday. So you would imagine that a foot birthday in Kunku would probably be 92 or 93 rated, and it's going to be a very, very expensive SBC when it does drop. So we'll talk more about that in Kunku, uh, because if it does drop today, I think that could impact the market a little bit in some positive ways. We'll speak about that. But that was a massive leak. This just seems like a card that should be in packs, and the fact that he's getting an SBC is wild. So moving on a bit, another SBC, Gattuso, first icon leak that we had yesterday. Um, I mean, really needs a big pace boost. Could be decent, could be a fun kind of different card, kind of like Javi Alonso um, during Team of the Year icons. We'll see what the price is on that one and what the stat boosts are when that one drops probably on the weekend. And then we have a ton of other SBC leaks, right? Bamba, a card who had um, some really nice special cards a couple years ago when he had his team of the season in FIFA 21. Looks like he's getting a card as a part of Foot Birthday. That should be a bit of a cheaper item, but still might be pretty meta in game and uh, very, very linkable with the League One and French links, of course. Moving up, we have another French player, Rabiot. This is a big leak as well, right? You think about the Sandro that was dropped. Everybody loves Pogba. The Juve links are looking really, really strong. And this is a card that had a really good uh, World Cup card earlier on in the year that people really loved as a Hullet Gang card. And this one's probably going to get at least a couple plus ones and plus twos, right? Again, that's the thing we have to be careful about with this promo with these leaks is... A lot of the upgrades that we're seeing are still very small, and I think that's going to hurt a little bit of the hype today because I just don't imagine EA, you know, with all the upgrades that we had this last week with like Nunez, of course, getting the, the simple plus ones around the rest of the card, even though the five-star skill moves and weak foot is there, the small stat upgrades really hurt the hype for this promo. So... I don't know if we're getting Rabio today, but sometime soon we're going to be getting a SBC for his card. Now, some of the icons that are coming in packs today, man, these icon leaks, I'm telling you guys, I think Team 1 of the icons actually looks more hype than Team 2. So those that are going out of packs today are better in my opinion, but this is a big one, Wayne Rooney. Five-star skills, question mark. That could be a really hype icon today. Uh, Rooney needed an upgraded card. We all thought he was going to get a team of the year icon. He didn't. So hopefully that's a five-star skill Rooney today. That could be a nice one. Verone uh, could be a pretty nice card as well. Another very good box-to-box -box midfielder. A, a card that's not that usable, but with the right boost could be pretty good. So that could be a, a bit of a cheaper one today, but still interesting. And Maldini getting a foot birthday icon. He's on the loading screen, right? Five-star skill moves on Maldini is going to be very interesting uh, to have in game, but that's going to be a pretty expensive icon, I would believe, today in the game as well. Moving on, we have a couple of the lower tier foot birthdays that will be in packs today. Alex Tellez, we just had Sandro yesterday, we're getting another Brazilian left back, but Alex Tellez had that SBC earlier on in the year that was a really, really good card. So uh, it depends on the stats, of course, but I think this could be a nice, pretty cheap left back. Uh, for Alex Tellez in packs today. Clivert in packs as a card. Hope he gets five-star skills as well. A couple of his moments cards in the years past, albeit pretty cheap, uh, were pretty meta. So I would say a, a bit more usable, kind of like a of a rush. Like we had rush last week, a cheap icon. I think that uh, Cliver would be a bit more usable than him. Mats Hummels, talk about making a card unusable and taking it to usable. Hopefully with 80 pace today, or if it's, if it's below 80 pace, people will be disappointed. I think EA know what they have to do with this Hummels card. Very nice card for the links. Could be a fun card to try out. It'll see. We'll have to see how the stats look on his item today. And also Onana is going to be our goalkeeper this time around. Nice links for Serie A teams. And uh, hopefully five star, five star on that one there. So those are all of the player SBCs and the icon leaks that we have. A couple more actually for icons. Luis Figo is one of the icons on the loading screen. We were thinking that maybe it's going to be Eusebio, but Luis Figo is the leaked card. So we believe that it's going to be him. And the Brazilian is looking like it is Kaká. So a five star, five star Kaká could be pretty cool. But then if you think about all these cards that have been leaked and stuff, if you look at Foot Birthday Team 1, specifically for the icons, you've got Mateus, Cantona, Pushkas, Best. I think that some of these cards from Team 1 actually are a bit more desirable and a bit more hype for most people than the, the cards that are coming in Team 2. That's just me. So is that actually going to change kind of the the landscape of how we really feel like this day is going to go on FIFA today. How is the market going to react to all of this if the cards that are dropping today 
are actually not that hype and especially we have an Nkunku SBC guys I really think the SBC player today last week we had Pedri right it was okay it made some um, Barcelona players go up in price but it wasn't anything super crazy I really feel like the SBC player sets the tone for today uh, if we get Rabiot today then I do think there'll be a lot of hype for people wanting to go do that card if it's a good price it all it links to Pogba it links to the Sandro that we had yesterday if we get Bamba there'd be a little bit of hype but if we get Nkunku today guys I just feel like for the majority of people that are on FIFA, and maybe some of you guys watching this video will feel this way, imagine EA dropping in Kunku SBC, and we can, of course, uh, debate how high rated it would be. Maybe the Nkunku they would drop to make it a bit cheaper would be like 92 or 91 rated and, and not go above this Path of Glory card. But if they drop this SBC today, it's probably going to be anywhere between 2 and 3 million coins, depending on what the rating is. And that, for so many people, is just going to be too expensive. And not a lot of people are going to be able to go out and do that SBC super fast uh, to want to get it in their team, unlike a cheaper SBC. So... I just feel like if they drop in Kunku today, the market would actually end up going up as people maybe want to go try some new for birthday cards, but uh, they would just say, wow, okay, that SBC isn't something that I can do and put in my team right away because it's so expensive. So I'm just going to go buy my team and play some weekend league. So that's kind of how I feel like if Nkunku is the SBC today, that's how I feel like the market's going to kind of go. But of course, with Nkunku being out, uh, if that were to happen, I do think you would see some panic selling on the high tier part of the markets and uh, some cards, if, especially if Nkunku is a really good price, people might want to sell to put an Nkunku in their team. Like maybe this Benzema card would be one uh, as an attacker that people would sell to try something different. Even though Nkunku may not be as cracked, it's five star, five star, right? And that carries its own really, really overpowered aspect in this game. So the SBC today, I think, is really what's going to set the tone for the market. But I, I really feel like it's going to be different than last week to foot birthday team one in that there's not as many saved up packs for today. Now, there are some, right? But remember last week, some of these guys like Bernardo Silva, who, of course, now is down to like 900,000 coins and he's been around 880 to 900 uh, this past couple of days, this guy was like 900,000 coins on Friday of last week. There were so many packs open in the first couple hours that the full birthday cards were flooded onto the market. Remember, guys uh, like Marquinhos um, and Joao Felix were flooded onto the market, although like Felix was extinct and stuff, but they started pretty low and they ended up rebounding, right? Bernardo Silva on the weekend was like 1.1, 1.2 million coins. I don't think that's going to happen today for these brand new full birthday cards that drop like Vinny, like Bruno Guimaraes. I don't think there's as many saved up packs this week um, just because almost everybody opened last week. I know there's some of you guys that are saving, but I feel like it's going to have a lot less of an impact on the market today. So I don't feel like you have to worry too much um, about the foot birthday cards coming out being super cheap unless EA drops some sort of crazy pack in the store. I mean, I know we had the 10 coin pack last week, which I would love to for EA to do that again, because that was incredible uh, that they did that last week. But I, I don't expect it again, right? All these packs that are here in the store are going to be resetting today. There's actually some very interesting new packs that have been added. I want to look at these really fast because I would expect to see a brand new token pack released. This one, the Foot Birthday Sparkler Pack, including a swap token and 10 golds, 86 plus for one of them. Uh, maybe around like 75 to 80K for that pack, somewhere in there. But then look at some of these. Halftime 80 plus player pick, halftime 87 plus player pick. So some very interesting packs added here, but all of the packs we've seen like right now in the store, there's a halftime rare players pack. Are they actually going to be putting player picks in the store? Uh, because everything that we have seen that's called halftime, I'm pretty sure have been released as store packs. And that is very confusing. I don't know how they would price these, like, you know, pay 25K to get a, an 80 plus player pick between five rare gold players. Like, I don't know what's going to happen or even if we will see these packs in the store yet or today or, or anytime, but that's just kind of different. So watch out for those today. I'll be very curious to see what EA uh, does with those. A foot birthday player pack, which I would assuming would pull from team one and team two an 80 plus times three and a surging star pack, probably another store pack they would drop today. 35 rare golds, all 80 and above with one 86 and above pretty interesting there but i would also expect that ea would you know like the birthday wishes pack the big 500k pack maybe even the birthday cheer pack these are all expiring today i could see those re-upped during the weekend uh but at least one token pack available today from the store as one of our tokens and then another token probably released via sbc 
or objective. I would at least expect two tokens today. And of course, that would be very hype for those of you that are trying to craft SBCs right now. And you would be able to, if you've been keeping up with all the tokens, get the 20 token, uh, 84 times 20 times two, or also get the 20 token share, if that's what you were going for today. Right now, we have 19 tokens, of course, after the two that were dropped yesterday. Uh, and today, with two more, we should be able to get to 21, with 20 of them being available, since one from the uh, daily login objective isn't actually able to be claimed yet. So again, I don't think there's going to be a ton of panic selling into today unless there's some brand new news about what's going to be happening on uh, this game for content. I feel I feel like the market today, guys, is really, I feel like it's going to do well. I think there's going to be a lot of demand for people to play weekend league games. And I think that the content today, especially if Nkunku is the SBC that drops, isn't going to be crazy enough to make people really panic. Yes, people want to try out the brand new for birthday cards. Uh, some of the cards from Team one a foot birthday are very interesting in terms of investments because they have gone down a lot in price. Zinchenko right now is one that's like down a ton. He was 300k yesterday. He's 260,000 coins right now. It makes sense, right? We had a left back SBC dropped yesterday for Sandro. We have Telez coming today and we have Furpo and objectives. A lot of left backs recently uh, to kind of hurt his price. But I do believe we're going to see a player of the month today. So if you want to speculatively invest in a Zinchenko, um, it could have an early payoff with a Saka player of the month probably dropping as an early piece of content earlier in the morning today on Friday. So watch out for this. It might be 87 rated, which, I mean, you know, if you're an Arsenal fan, yes, you'd want to go and do this SBC right away. Will it really have a big impact on Zinchenko's price? Probably not that much, but watch out for that today. Uh, speaking of other SBCs and other foot birthday cards to watch on the market today, we're going to go to SBCs first um, and talk about this. There are a lot of SBCs that are refreshing today. Of course, the 88 plus icon is going to refresh. If you did that, you're going to be able to do it again today. So that's going to be some demand for fodder. We'll talk about fodder here in a second. And then as I was checking some of the SBCs as well, what I see here in the back is the year in review player pick also says that it's going to refresh at content time today on Friday. So that is something I was not expecting, but uh, these are fun. A lot of people like to try these. So there could be demand for higher rated fodder and lower rated fodder today. Now, of course, with weekend league rewards, with lightning rounds and packs being opened, what does that mean for fodder today? Well, fodder prices are down a little. And when I say a little, like I mean like 91s went from 80K to like 76,000 coins, like literally a little bit they are down. Some of your 84s were like 3.3K, that was pretty low. 85s are back at 10,000 coins with marquee matchups yesterday finally dropping. You did have some of these price drops you can see here kind of you just fall down a little bit. You know, with all that content re-releasing today, like the 88 plus, you could have some of your fodder go up a little bit. Uh, but if fodder drops at all today, seriously guys, with all of these SBCs, that we have leaked, like some pretty big um, nationalities here, a lot of French players, a lot of Brazilian players, a lot of just hype players in general. There's gonna be so much hype, these upcoming SBC players. Uh, fodder's gonna be a must have. So if there are prices on this fodder that drop at all today, any considerable amounts, like if 88s are like, I mean, 27K for 88s is really not that bad. They were 29, 30,000 coins. So look, there's an opportunity, I think, to buy a little bit of this fodder because I think we're just going to need fodder again later on throughout this next week of foot birthday team too. So just watch fodder prices today. If there's any drops in the late night or maybe tomorrow on Saturday, it could be a good opportunity to club stock. I know that prices are very high. I'm still lazy listing fodder that I have on my transfer list um, and selling it for good prices. But there's just going to be so much SBC demand that prices are, especially on the 91s, are probably just going to keep going up. So be very careful there and watch that part of the market. Now, how am I going to be trying to trade and make coins today? Um, I'm really going to be looking at the new foot birthday cards and even some of the old foot birthday cards that are going out of packs. Just to revisit that conversation, Darwin Nunez is like, this is the lowest he has been for his, uh, this card here, the five star skills card is like down under 800,000 coins as well. Uh, he is 765 at the moment. Like that's that's pretty low for his card price as well. That's like the lowest that he has been this entire week. And since he was a part of the mini release, that's tempting at least a little bit to me to potentially pick up for an out of packs movement. We'll just have to see where he goes and where a lot of these, where the foot birthday hype is today. I know we have new players coming on the game and there's going to be new players that people want to try out. But with all the links being based around like Brazil cards, 
and in the SBC yesterday for Alexandro, you know, I would keep an eye on some of your Brazilian cards on the market. Now, I know Kaká is getting an icon card today. Um, which means his prime and his mid were, will be going out of packs. But keep an eye on some of these Brazilian icons as well um, going out of packs. I don't know how like Pushkas. Oh yeah, Pushkas Prime did really really good last week as he went out of packs. So I would watch a lot of your like meta Brazilian cards that maybe you don't think have uh, a potential to like move at all during this promo because they don't really link to anything like super crazy, but just the Brazilian links, like maybe maybe the Marquinhos uh, for birthday card, you know, is an option where you see a couple center backs drop today, but none of them are Brazilian. And this is a this is a Brazilian center back that's one of the best in the game. He's already up a little bit in price. Maybe he goes a bit higher today. I think those Brazilian links could do pretty well. And then since the icons that are coming in today's team too, just don't quite look as good as the team one. Maybe there is an opportunity here to invest in a couple of these guys like Kuman, I think, could rise today. Pushkas is low again. Best is almost his lowest price. But honestly, you know, you do have Anthony today that you could hurt best a little bit just because of right wings and some hype there. Mateus is a midfielder. Rush is really low, 130,000 coins there. Jarzinho under seven. So, you know, take a look at some of these full birthday cards if you want to make a little bit of an investment. Um, I know that Nkunku is a really, really big SBC, and people are like, oh my goodness, the market's going to crash if this SBC drops. Well, I mean, the market didn't crash when Player of the Month and Bappe dropped, right? It was just that's what people's fodder went into when they started crafting. That's how I feel like it would be today on this game and since there is the weekend league qualification points were given out once again i really feel like there's an opportunity to make some coins today so i don't think the market's going to crash today unless ea do something crazy uh and i mean just be careful guys if ea end up messing up the content drop again if, if they mess up the time frame of when content's supposed to be dropped that could have some market impact. I do remember a time last year in FIFA 22 where they dropped the content like late or something and uh, the market started to go up, but then the content was dropped finally and then stuff went down. So if there are content drop timing issues again today, be very careful what you're buying. Be very careful with what you're putting your coins into uh, because I do believe that could impact the market a lot. So I'm not I'm not expecting anything super crazy today. Hopefully they juice up these stats a bit more, but I just don't think it's going to be an absolutely crazy day today because, man, the leagues looked really good, but the stat boost, as we have seen for these cards time and time again during foot birthday, are just not that amazing. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for the content drop today. If you have any comments, let me know down below. I know it's some of you guys have been saving packs. I'm going to go stock up on some golds to go and do a a, a healthy amount of 80 plus player picks hopefully today to have a nice bit of these stacked up to maybe hit another icon or to hit a foot birthday player because it'll just be really really fun uh, to try to open some packs today for this new team that is going to be out so that's the video for me today guys if you did enjoy it, smash thumbs up on a comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you do it's been nate foot account see you guys in the stream today peace